Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mad here. So today I'm going to show how to use a digital multimeter. Let's see how to connect these probes to your multimeter. For almost every reading, you have to put your positive probe, I mean the red one, in this section, which is written volt, milliamp, microamp, diode testing, and buzzer and ohm. Just connect it here. And the black one in the common, which is written COM. Now, if you want to measure more than 200 milliamp, in just in that case, you have to switch the red probe, I mean the positive probe, to the left side one, just like this, which is written 10 amp max. And this meter is for 10 amp maximum and most of the time your probe is just going to sit here I'm going to start with DC voltage measurement and it's a triple battery which is 1.50 volt is equal to 1500 millivolt and plus minus is written you have to set your multimeter at DC voltage range which is this one you have a scale between 200 millivolt to 600 volt and for this battery you can set 2000 millivolt but I'm going to set it at 20 volt so let's turn it on and let's check the voltage 1.47 volt and let's take a lithium battery which is full charged at 4.20 volt it's a lithium ion battery let's check the voltage I recently charged this battery 4.18 volt that means this battery is almost fully charged let's take a big lithium ion pack it's a 60 volt battery pack let's check the voltage if you try to measure the voltage at 20 volt it's gonna show overload so you have to switch to 200 volt as you can see it's showing overload so i'm switching to 200 volt and now it's showing 56.4 volt so that's how you can take dc measurements let's move towards ac in india the domestic line is around 220 to 240 volt that's why I directly switch to 600 volt because you can't measure 240 volt at 200 volt so let's take a wall outlet and check the voltage and be careful when you are dealing with AC voltage make sure you switch your meter at 600 volt AC before measuring the AC voltage and it's around 248 volt AC And that's how you can measure AC voltage. So all done with voltage measurement. Let's move towards resistance. And you can find a ohm symbol in the resistance measurement scale. You have a scale between 200 ohm to 200 mega ohm. So these are some resistance. Let's check them. I'm going to set my meter at 200 ohm so this one is showing 46.5 ohm according to the color code this one is a 47 ohm resistance with tolerance this one is a 147.5 ohm resistance It's showing overload that means you have to switch to a higher value and now it gives reading 215 ohm by pressing the hold button you can hold your value in the meter let's move towards diode testing and continuity or buzzer mode for that you just have to set your meter at continuity mode 
and you can test diodes or short circuits with this mode uh, but in this particular meter you have to press the hold or set button to switch between these two modes so let's start with diode testing so this one is the diode symbol and diode have polarity i mean the positive and the negative i mean the anode and the cathode negative side is marked in a silver tone look closely that's how you can identify the negative side so put your meter into continuity mode and as i mentioned before i have to press the hold set button to switch between these two modes in this particular meter so now i am in diode testing mode so let's check the diode diode conducts in one way that's why it gives readings in one direction as you can see 165 and if you reverse the diode nothing and that's how you can identify a good diode if it's a bad one it's gonna give readings in both direction it gives readings and if you reverse it nothing so this one is also a good diode let's take a LED this one is a symbol and the small leg is the minus and the bigger leg is the plus LED is also conduct in one direction just like the diodes and you can test them basically in same way so now it's conducting and the LED is glowing as you can see and if you reverse it nothing no reading at all that's how you can identify a good LED although it's already glowing and as I mentioned before bad LED and bad diodes conduct in both direction so let's test that out this blue one is a bad LED let's see how it acts it gives readings and if I reverse it still gives readings so it's a bad LED you can identify bad LED and diodes if it gives readings in both direction I mean if it conducts in both direction so now you can identify bad LED and bad diodes let's talk about continuity and buzzer mode and as I mentioned before, I have to press this hold and set button to switch between continuity and diode mode. So currently it's switched into continuity mode. Now you can easily detect a short circuit or a broken wire with this buzzer mode. Now take a wire and connect your two probes into sides. If it's beep, that means your wire is okay. Just like this. And if the wire is broken somewhere in the middle, it's not gonna beep. And you can also detect short circuits easily with this beep test. I mean two wires are touching each other or not. So we are all done with continuity and diode testing mode. Let's talk about the current measurement. I mean the amp. For current measurement, you have a scale between 2000 microamp to 10 amp. And from 2000 microamp, to 200 milliamp you can measure from this side which is written volt milliamp microamp diode testing and buzzer mode as I mentioned before and for 10 amp you have to switch your probe into the 10 amp section like this and also switch your meter to 10 amp although I'm going to measure milliamps so I just switch back to milliamps and this meter have internal fuse that's why it's written fused 
and for both 200 milliamp and 10 amp side and if you put more loads then the port is written for then most probably you are going to end it up with a blown out fuse although you can replace them very easily so let's think about a red LED which is connected with a battery via a resistance and it can be any value depend on your circuit to limit the current from the battery and the battery is positive is connected with the LED is positive and the negative with the negative via a resistance amp meter always connect in series with your circuit so just forget about the negative wire and cut the positive in half connect your meters positive probe I mean the red one with the battery's positive side and the negative the meters negative one I mean the black one with the other end now current is going to flow through your meter like this and you get your readings it's the example with a red LED and current is flowing through the circuit like this just cut the positive wire so the LED is not glowing and I set my meter at 200 milliamp max now connect your meter just like the picture and you get your readings and it's only 2.4 milliamp let's switch to a lower value cause the reading is very small that's why I switched to 20 milliamp now you get much precise readings which is 2.44 milliamp now it's really small current and if you want to measure more than 200 milliamp then you have to switch your meter to 10 amp max and just switch your positive probe to 10 amp and the negative connection remains same just like this and switch the positive probe to 10 amp max and other connection remains same and in this way you can take DC current measurement up to 10 amp and we're done with current measurement let's talk about NCV I have this feature in my meter and basically it stands for non-contact voltage and you can detect live voltage without touching the wires so let's see the demonstration with the extension cord and if you put this meter near to a live wire it's going to beep and that depends on the distance from the wire cool right and this switch is for the backlight I mean for dark environment I think you understand how to use a digital multimeter and if you like the video then give it a thumbs up if you want more videos just like this then subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon thanks for watching guys